reporting in from the region. I want to bring in ABC's chief White House correspondent, Jonathan Carl, tonight. And, John, I wanted to take our viewers back to the images we saw in Hamish's report just a moment ago, the explosions, the ground incursion underway. What is the White House saying at all, if anything? Well, David, the White House seems to have been blindsided by the Israeli invasion. Just yesterday, the president came into the White House briefing room and before the cameras said that he was working with other world leaders to get a ceasefire. And just hours before what you're seeing there, just hours before the invasion, the, st the spokesperson for the State Department expressed optimism that the ceasefire would take hold. Now, of course, you have an escalation, not a ceasefire, although it's important to say the White House has said over and over again that Israel does have a right to defend itself. And yet optimistic just today about a ceasefire. But while we have you, John, I wanted to get back to the plane. We heard the president today say he would support the investigation, uh, but the White House also waiting for word tonight on whether there were Americans on board. Right, and no indication of Americans on board, but, you know, Vice President Biden today darkly warned that the repercussions of this downing of this jet go far beyond the tragic loss of life today. That's why he said he wants a quick investigation, and the White House issued a statement just a short while ago saying that all evidence from that crash must remain in Ukraine, including those black boxes. That very clearly was a message to Russia amidst the reports that you heard from Martha Raddatz that the rebels are claiming the black boxes have been found and sent to Moscow. The White House says that that must remain in Ukraine until international investigators have arrived to do their investigation. Must stay in Ukraine and not be sent to Russia. That will be yes. a conflict to come. John, thank you. Uh, there is still much more ahead tonight of our breaking news coverage. Disaster in the sky. The airline now investigating two mysteries. To